Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing. I just got in my once every five year MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the MacBook Pro 14. I went with the M1 Max Edition, which has the highest configurable CPU, 32 gigs of memory, and a one terabyte SSD. So I kind of went all out on this and we are going to unbox it now. I'm actually doing a live stream while I do this and we're going to have a look and get a kind of a first impression of the hardware. And then I'll come back and do a full review on everything that this computer is about and what I use it for, because I do a lot of video editing on Macs and this is going to become my new daily driver and it will accompany my M1 MacBook Air that I use for travel. Now I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this MacBook with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what's inside the box. All right, so let's lift the lid on the box here. Like all Apple products, the unboxing is an experience in of itself. So here we go, we've got the MacBook. And it's definitely thicker than the prior editions. It almost reminds me of my 12-inch uh, MacBook the original one, or actually the old tower book, I should say, uh, from way back when. So definitely a lot thicker. But look, we've got ports now. So we have an SD card reader. Looks like we got a Thunderbolt port on this side, an HDMI output over here which is something we didn't have in the last one, which just had Thunderbolt ports. So you do have some extra ports here. We've got a MagSafe adapter. I'm assuming they're still calling it MagSafe for power. And we've got two more Thunderbolt ports here and a headphone jack. So they did not uh, skimp on that. It feels super nice. This is like a really nice feeling metal. It's very smooth, as you can see. So very nice there. And let's open it up real quick and have a look at the keyboard on this one. So we'll take the thing away here and it already boots up right when you take it out of the box. And so we'll let it boot up here. Now, one thing that we're gonna have to kind of explore a bit is the notch that you're gonna see at the top of the display once the operating system boots up because now the camera, because it's 1080p, has a notch in it. And what I'm seeing online is that uh, some of the menu bars that go to far along, right or left, end up going behind the notch. So that's something we'll have to explore when I do the full review. Let's have a look at the keyboard though and see what that looks like. And it feels much nicer than the last keyboard that I had on my MacBook Pro, the 15 inch one that's had now uh, two keyboard replacements. So this one uh, feels a lot nicer. The travel is pretty good on it. It doesn't feel terribly deep, but it feels like it should be a pretty good typing surface. I will explore more of that in the review. Uh, the trackpad here has got that uh, usual Apple feel, no moving parts to it. It has that haptic feedback that makes it feel like you're clicking on something. And I'm gonna turn that off because there's some audio going there. So very nice construction here, as I would expect for the price that I paid. Big rubber feet on this one too. So very nice from a hardware perspective. And again, just a little thicker than some of the other ones we've seen, but I think that's actually a good thing because you have more room for some regular ports, no more uh, Thunderbolt dongles for video output. Let's see what else is in the box here and then uh, we'll come back with the full review a little later. So this is the magnetic power supply here. And what's interesting is that one end is a USB-C connector and the other one is the magnetic connector here. Now it's not gonna pass any data through, so you can power it through the Thunderbolt ports if you want, or you can power it with the magnet connector. We've got some instructions here, I'm sure. And additionally, you get your stickers too. So we've got our Apple, look at this, they're black ones. Usually you get white stickers, these are black, very nice. And your manual here, and I think that's it in here, right? Yeah, nothing else, just a hard piece of cardboard in there. Yeah, that's it. And then we have the power adapter, which is the same size as my other MacBook power adapters, and it's your usual USB-C on the other end. So you plug in your USB-C cable, and then again, you've got that uh, magnetic connector on the other side. Or you can plug it in with a regular USB-C USB power cable to one of the Thunderbolt ports, so you have the choice. One thing you don't get anymore is that extension cable. You have to buy that separately, so you can pop this off and put an extension cable in there. So that is the MacBook Pro unboxing. 
and we're going to come back with a full review once I've had time to set it up and test it. And I'm very excited to get my new daily driver here integrated into my workflow, and I'm really eager to see how its M1 Max processor performs. So more to see on this one. Stay tuned, and until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Hot Sauce and Video Games, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Thomas Anfang, Jim Tannis, and Handheld Obsession. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.